Welcome to Jethro's Garage. Today we're going to talk about some tools that everyone needs in the garage. It's the snap ring pliers. Um, got a couple of different types here, and I may bring you bring a different another type here to show you. But stay tuned. Check out what we got. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. We got the Matco Tools MST1225. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you all and then I'm going to bring you in a little closer. We got the Matco Tools. We got the Mac Tools, but they're Nipex, Knipex, that have been rebranded. And then we got this, old, this, this style here, the Craftsman. Um, had this for quite a while. But let's start off first with these. Let's bring you in here. So these are what they call quarter turn. Um, Matco doesn't make these. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. Oh, there goes my heater. 99.9% .9 sure these are made by Lang Tools. I'll give you a link to them. That's going to be your most cost-effective solution on buying these. Lang Tools makes a lot of tools that sell on the tool trucks. So in this set, you got three big, three medium, and then six of the smaller ones. And the tips on these smaller ones, this has a bigger tip than these. Um, Let's see, it doesn't tell me. Okay, it does. So on one of them, it's a 047, the other's a 038. So this bigger one, bigger one will be a 047. And this one will be a 038. The tips are slightly smaller. So, the way these work is this pair here can be used as inside and outside. You just turn it. Uh, you turn it, pull it out. S see the holes, you can either put it there or put it there. And then it makes them uh, inside or outside. So, I would use this pair to open. I would use them to open this way. And if I had to bring one together, I would use them the other way. Well, I thought maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like these would open them, right? Yep and the other way was to bring them together. Um, it look, in all reality, it looked like these could be used for both, so start here, bring them together. Uh, not a bad set. These have a lot of what you need. So they'll have a straight, they'll have a 90 degree bend, And they will have a 45 degree bend. Helps you get into places. They're pretty durable. This is a nice set. I found them at a pawn shop. Got them for a decent price. Um, look, I only use these when I can't use these. So that leads us to them. Let's talk about the knife eggs. You can buy the, you don't have to go to Mac to buy these. You can buy a similar set from Amazon or from your tool truck, whatever. Um, and I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna um, tell you to buy from one or another. You do what you need to do. Your tool truck or your local tool supplier is a small business and we need more small businesses. Uh, Amazon, they're a huge business and you can buy your stuff cheaper from them. And really it's up to you. I do both. 
So, but here we go. We're going to pull out two pair. So this is all straights. So this would be your inside where you're opening. And this will be where you're taking, open it up and bringing it together. They're not bad. They're a pretty nice little set. Well made. I really, really love these. They seem to be uh, stiffer. Uh, they don't flex on you quite as much as that other style. And that's what I like about them. Um, both of these, same thing. It's just a smaller. I was actually using these. Uh, I, yeah, I used this pair right here on a video that I did the other day. Um, if I could only buy one set, though, I'd have to go with that bigger set because it covers more. There's more there. But this right here, awesome set. It's your, it's a friend to your toolbox. It, they're nice to have when you've got an extremely tough uh, ring, snap ring. And last and certainly least are these Craftsmen. Look, if this is all you have, this is all you have. These will bend on you. Um, you see these? So this is designed, you, what you'll get, what you would get in a kit would be a pair for, to open and a pair to close or a pair to, you know, you get two pair and they would be opposite. So plus you'd get a bunch of these tips uh, that you loosen this up and put them in here. Here's what the tips would look like. Um, you, you've got three. Uh, three different sizes and those three different sizes um, of tips where you've also got uh, three different style tips. So you've got your uh, 45 degree angled, your 90 degree angled, and your straights. I don't have all the tips I'm sure I have lost them. Uh, this, they're supposed to be, and see the black is supposed to be 038, the silver is 047, and the gold is 070. So I don't have them all. Uh, don't have any clue where they went. Probably tore them up or bent them and threw them in the, in the scrap uh, bucket, but I don't know, but are these a get you out of a jam type deal? Yeah, they might, they might not though, uh, but still they're cheap and you never know. They might do what you need to do. If it's not some super strong uh, snap ring, yeah, go ahead, pick them up. They'll probably work for you. Here's the thing, uh, snap ring pliers are one of those tools that you're probably going to buy it when you need it. Um, maybe, maybe, you know, after you've bought a lot of your other stuff, you'll buy it, you know, you'll buy it without needing it. But chances are you're going to buy it when you need it. Um, I have bought single ones that were just what I needed, the exact size, the exact turn, everything that I needed. Um, my son's got those. Um, I think I bought that kit, uh, the big kit, and well, I bought them both at pawn shops, and I bought them both sometime around between 2014 and 2016. So I've had them for a minute. Um, when you're buying these, I'll, this is one tool I would say uh, buy once, cry once. Now, not everything is gonna be like that. This is one of those tools I'd say buy once, cry once. Figure out which one you want that's of a good quality and buy it. My money would be on the Knipex, Nipex, whatever you wanna call it. But you may, but the laying are just as good as any of the others. They're just not as stiff. So I appreciate it. Y'all take care. 
and I'll see y'all in the next video.